Before the bell rings, real quick review on what we learned today. Can someone here tell me one key component from the, one of the three branches of government? Anyone? Okay. Uh, how about you, John? John? Can someone wake him up? John, I need your answer for the question I just asked. Um, I don't know. You don't know? Well, had you been paying attention, you would have known. All right? All right, Chris. Give me one. How did you not know that? Some fucking voice. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I never care. It's all worthless. You think that? Well, there's so many people that drop out of school and turn out just fine. What makes you think I won't succeed? Well, we've been a fair school. All right, Jay. Whatever. <laughs> John, you got to apply yourself. I know you're a senior, but still, you can't stop caring, okay? This is important, it's for your future, so that's all I wanted to say. You need to go to your next class. What do you say? Yeah, something about graduation and not caring. So what, you don't care about graduation? Mm, man, it's not like that, it's just something about class. Man, you know John's dumbass don't care about no graduation. <laughs> good, Keith? What up? Are you ready yet? Yeah, I think I'm sorry. Given that you're all seniors and graduation is coming up very soon, I've decided to base your final summative grade on this. You will write an essay about what you plan to do after you graduate. And for those of you who believe that you can pass this class without doing any of the assignments, I've decided to make this essay worth 70% of your semester grade. Hold that thought. John? 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 Can someone tap John, please? John, the counselor wants you. Here you go. Thank you. John, I really need for you to take this essay seriously. Yep, okay. John Thurman. Come on in, John. Please, grab a seat. So, how are you? How are you doing? I'm all right. That's it? Just all right? Mm -hmm. So you're not one for a small talk, so I'll get right to it. Do you know why I called you down here? No, they just took me out of class. How are your grades, John? I don't know. I haven't really caught up with the school stuff like that. Well, let me save you some time. Let me save us some time. You're not on track to graduate, John. You're failing your classes. 
Okay, so? Do you really want to not graduate? You know, walking is a pretty big deal, John. Or I could just drop out. So you want to be working labor for the rest of your life? You want to live in a state of poverty? You don't need a degree to get a job. I mean, suit yourself, John. There's always some place to be cleaning restrooms or flipping burgers for your entire life. All right, so what do I need? All right, John. Let's take a look at your grades throughout the years. You barely passed freshman year. Sophomore year was, was worse. Your junior year, your ACT score wasn't that great, John. John, are you registering what I'm saying? It just seems like you haven't been taking school serious. I mean, what can I do? For starters, John, how about we take care of that English grade? We get it up. John, no one can tell you what to do. You have to make your own choices in life. And you will be judged on those actions. I'm thinking about UCLA. Yeah. What's up, my boys? Where you from? Keith? Jaden? What's up? We have Vista. Uh, you know it's a perfect day. I took it off a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You know? So what we eating? Fruit. Don't touch that. So, you know, the essay for Miss Taylor, you know, might need a little help, a little pitching. John, I'm not doing that shit, bro. We got our we got our Come on, just throw my stuff in there. No, you mean like college, college applications. College applications. Yeah. yeah. Wait, look. We got our shit and you can do your shit, all right? Yeah, you got that though. You got that. You got Dude. that, man. Huh? We'll catch you, girl. Come on, we boys. Ah, you got that though. Yeah, you, you got, got that. that. Yeah, yeah. Come on. You got that. Hey, John, you got that. You got that, John. And as for where I see myself in five years, I plan to be working as an intern in a software engineering company. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Jordan? All right, let me see who's next. John. John. What? Are you ready to present your essay? My essay? Your essay? Is it done? Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. I have to present it? Yes. Yes, you have to present. I don't... When I graduate, I am planning to, I don't know. You don't know? No. Why is that? I don't know, just something I haven't put too much effort into. Hey, you know we're about to graduate, right? Yeah, I just, uh... Not nah, hell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, class, easy, easy. Let's give him a shot. Just read what's on your paper. Just some jobs and writing. And some writing. Uh, what jobs? Like chef, dentist, and... Well, why those jobs? I don't know. I just searched up good jobs. Well, what do you see yourself in five years? Um... All right, John. Take a seat. Turn in your paper. Five, give John a round of applause, please. In a moment, I want a student, so go outside, sit down, I'll be with you right next. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, 
Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your plan. What do I do, man? I, I need your help. Graduation's coming by and I don't know what to do after high school. Can you do something for me? And don't give me that lesson, the little lectures. I need help. All right, John. First, I need you to calm down. I need you to take a moment because whenever people are worked up like this, it's never productive. What exactly do you need help with? Well, I don't need your lectures or lessons. Uh, I know you could do something for me. It's just something with my grades. You remember our talk last time? Well... We needed to address your grades. Have you spoken to your teachers? Have you asked them what you have to do to get your grades Look, up? I didn't come here for you to tell me all the flaws in me, Mr. Silverman. I came here for help. We're not talking about your flaws, John. We're talking about your actions or your inactions. Mr. Silverman, look, my days are made up from me going to school and coming back home. I've struggled all my life with school and I'm barely getting any type of form of help till now. So when I ask for your help, I don't mean for you to tell me all the bullshit I already know about me. I need damn help, man. John, what do you think this is? This struggle you're going through, this is what you're going to face in the real world when you get out there. This is what you have to do to graduate. And before you even get out there, you have to get your grades in order, John. Because it's only going to get worse from you from here on out. You need to handle this now. You need to figure out how to fix these problems. Because when you get out there, there's going to be no one like me helping you. It's just going to be you. So yes, I'm here to help you. But it all comes down to you, John. What are you going to do? And John... For what I'm seeing here, you did not get your grades together. It looks like you are not going to graduate. So you're asking for help, but I need you to do your part. Yes, I can help you, but this is on you, John. I can't do it for you. Come in. Silverman, I need you for a minute. All right, give me one moment. John, I can't help you if you don't help yourself. When I graduate, I don't really plan on being anything. I've gone through school learning all these pointless equations and suffixes, and in the end, I never had a passion for anything. I wish I had gotten help sooner, but the thought of the student loans alone buries me. Nothing was or ever is engaging here. I feel like I'm not 100% with myself. I'm going into the world with a part-time job and no ambitions. If I were to have time, I wish I could do it all over again. And to say I care is a very long shot. I'm lost. And when I break it down, all I had to do was try. There's no